Hey, everyone. I just uh, woke up. As you can tell, my hair is all fucked up, right? I'm trying to fix it. Uh, I uh, was wanted to get up earlier because yesterday uh, GameSpot said they're going to do some uh, big announcement for uh, Pokemon, right? Big, major announcement, right? So I wake up and I look on GameSpot. I can't find nothing. Then I look through Google and it's like, oh, I think I found out what this big announcement is. Pokemon Fighters. So this is what Nintendo's big idea is, what they're doing. They're bringing it to the arcades. And, like, I love arcades. I wish we had an arcade sort of place here, like like the old where you go with the arcade machine and you play with other people, throw in quarters. You know, I miss that style. I wish we had more of that here. But the arcades are pretty much dead here. Uh, but regardless, they're, they're, they're merging Tekken with Pokemon. So you're going to have Machamp versus Lucario, which is what I've seen in the trailer. I'm going to find that trailer and I'm going to put it down below in the description. And then it makes me think, this is totally totally the wrong Pokemon game that we wanted. You know, a lot of people are assuming that this is going to be coming to the Wii U. It's going to have a Wii U port. More than likely, I think it will. And this is a dangerous road to be going down. Like, Hyrule Warriors, I looked at it, you know, it might have, it might be a little bit fun. The Wii U is so starred for games, you know what, I'll, I'd, probably, I'd give almost anything a chance and try it out. And Hyrule Warriors, you know, it's got co-op. I'm looking for co-op games I can play, you know, split screen or whatever. So, I think I may pick that one up. But regardless, I think it's a really bad road to go down. They're taking their great franchises and they're merging them with a bunch of other games and it, it, it's gonna fuck up it's gonna bite them excuse me in the ass when if i was thinking of a wii u game to make for pokemon like a, like a good graphical pokemon game why not make a true 3d pokemon adventure rpg just like the handhelds but make it a fully 3d world where your characters in a full 3d space isn't Partially 2D, 3D, you know, like uh, the ones like Pokemon X and Y, and the upcoming Alpha Ruby Omega Sapphire, or Alpha Sapphire Omega Ruby, whatever. Uh, not like those games, but totally 100% fully 3D, where unlike Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness for the GameCube with some shitty friggin' dark Pokemon catching mechanic, and it's, it's so not like the uh, games, the hand, the games with the handheld. Where you know, go about the world, you get gems and stuff. They need what Nintendo needs for Pokemon is a true, fully 3D Pokemon RPG. One that has an overarching, really good story. Like, it actually puts a good story where you're doing something that means something. You know, and besides, you know, the basic, you know, challenging the gems, fighting the Elite Four, you know, they can make a really great game that's fully 3D, that's more like the anime where you got like Pokemon running around like in the towns with uh, their trainers, you know, they can make something really, really cool. And that's what they should be doing. That would sell millions, not just one million, millions of Wii U's. I guarantee you, if they made a true, fully 3D Pokemon adventure for the consoles, it would sell. This is something that Pokemon fans have been asking for and begging for ever since Pokemon came out, is a true Pokemon game for the console. And we haven't got it yet. I've been playing Pokemon since I was very, very young, since it came out. I'm, what, 27 now? I'll be 28 next year, April. Where is our true Pokemon game for the console? This will sell you millions. The Wii U is not doing that great. Yes, Mario Kart sold them quite a bit. But you know what? That steam is starting to die down. Nintendo needs help. And Pokken Fighters, P-O-K-K-E-N, is not the solution. You're going to destroy the Pokemon license. If you keep going with all these spin-offs, you're going to destroy the Zelda license. And, you know, Metroid Other M. There's my example. Metroid Other M. The merging of, you know, different play styles and making it different. I know it's not a reskin necessarily, but it's, you know, this jumbling all these features and different gameplay styles and putting it into a series often ruins it and Metroid of the Realm is a good example of that you know Team Ninja decides to take over the development the guys who made Ninja Gaiden okay and then they make Metroid and they merge first person the first person gameplay like uh, the Prime series and then they merge uh, 
the 2D classic 2D for regular Metroid, and we decided to put that put that together and make it kind of like Ninja Gaiden. It doesn't work. You know, most of the times it doesn't work. You very rarely are you going to get an actual a win, like you're actually going to hit, get a hit. Most of the time you're going to miss, 99.99999% of the time. It is it is in a massive risk with very little payoff. It is kind of like not worth it. You might as well, if, if you have these ideas for games, why not Why not just bring actual, wait, I believe they have a Tekken game. My girlfriend's over there. I believe you have a, a, a they actually have a Tekken game for the Wii U. Like, well, you know, I, I know Pokemon sells, but you're going to, you know, make Pokemon fighters now. So it's going to be like a, like, so it's not going to be a, a mature game like Tekken is supposed to be a more mature uh, fighter. It's, you're going to, kind of dumb that down and make it in the Pokemon now. It's it, it, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't work. I know there's so many different types of Pokemon games, but the ones that truly sell, the ones that truly make money, the ones that people actually play on a daily basis. And I got 500 hours logged into X and Y trying to bring new Pokemon teams to play competitively online, is the actual Pokemon RPGs. Not these uh, fucked up shitty ones like Pokemon Rumble for the Wii U, or, you know, uh, Pokemon Puzzle Challenge, although sometimes that can be fun to learn. Those don't really sell. This isn't going to work. Nintendo's going down a dangerous road. They can't get third parties on board, so they're going to take, they're going to take their main games, and they're going to make it into, sorry, well, I made some video. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, that was just uh, a girlfriend's sister. But anyways, uh, so you're going to take that, and you're gonna merge them with third-party games, so like you can't get your third-party uh, title. So you're gonna work with these work with these people, and you're gonna pay them money so you can, you know, somewhat acquire the license or permission to use it. And you're gonna merge it with your main existing franchises. What Nintendo really needs to do, and I apologize for that, guys. By the way, they really need to make new IPs. Uh, especially new mature IPs, they need to stop ruining their old franchises, and it's just going to create mistrust in the license. That's what it's going to do. It's going to create mistrust. You know, we've been asking as Pokemon fans for years for that console game, that true RPG. Where is it? Uh, this news, you know, I was expecting some big news, you know, something cool. It's like, wow, what? Are we actually going to get? That's what it kind of made me think, you know. Big, big announcement, big announcement. This isn't a big announcement. Maybe for Japan, it's, you know, exciting. You know, uh, they, they do have arcades. The arcades are still big there. You know, maybe that's kind of cool. But I don't see, like, how. Pokemon fighters? This, this does not appeal to me whatsoever. Now, new Pokemon RPGs with console would interest me. I've introduced a lot of people, and it get people, you know, starting to reuse and fly off the shelves. And if the mere announcement of that game, if you announce a true Pokemon RPG, even if it was a year, or two years, three years off, we used to start flying off the shelf. People would start buying it just for that game. You know how a lot of people say, I don't want to buy a system just for one game? You make that one game, people will buy your system for that one game. I got 500 hours in the in the Pokemon X and Y. People will buy your system for that one game. But you won't make that one game for them. You keep pussyfooting around, dancing around what people really want, ignoring what the people say, and look at what mess your company is in now. I don't know guys, this this announcement is just uh doesn't excite me whatsoever. Uh, what do you guys think of Pokemon fighters? It's uh not interesting. Not interesting one bit. Alright guys, I'm gonna end this off now. Pokemon Fighters. Fuck that game. You know, Hyrule Warriors might have some redeeming quality to it, but Pokemon Fighters, I don't know, I'm not I'm not interested in that. I don't wanna play that. I want a true Pokemon game RPG for the console. That's what I want. If you guys want a true Pokemon RPG for the console, not like Gale XD or Gale of Darkness for the fucking GameCube, please comment down below, let me know what you think. If I'm wrong, let me know what you think. Whatever, you, you can like or dislike the video. Uh, I don't really care about that part. But just please leave the comments. I'd like a discussion on this. What do you think Nintendo should do 
What should they bring to the Wii U to make it a success? What games could they bring? What franchises could they leverage? What games do you think should be made for the Wii U to give it that success? Please let me know in the comments down below, and everyone have a good day. I gotta get some breakfast. I'm tired and I'm hungry. Peace.